Hi, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video, I'm going to be configuring policy based routing uh, between a couple routers here using GNS3. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to build our topology, which will just take a minute, and then we'll go ahead and uh, um, go ahead and set up some policy based uh, routing here. Um, policy based routing is used um, to manipulate. Uh, packet flow uh, on the router um, that is not uh, using like default, uh, you know, IP routing, you know, where it looks up in the routing table and it's everything based on, you know, the destination uh, IP address and, you know, what hop or what is the next, um, uh, you know, the next interface to traverse to get to the uh, destination. Uh, Policy-based routing uh, is what you can use to manipulate, um, you know, your your uh, um, your your routing uh, features. Say, such as, you know, uh, say you want to, you know, traffic sourced from a certain IP address to take a certain route through the network. Well, you can set up a uh, you know, policy-based routing to uh, influence and manipulate uh, the traffic flow. You can also set it up. Uh, what we're going to do here, we're going to set it up on a, uh, you know, on a um, per packet length basis. So, what I'm going to do here is set up our topology where we have router 1 and um, router 4 on the other side and what I'm going to do is set this up to where we have a serial connection from router 1 to router 3 and from router 3 to router 4 and what I'm going to do here on the other side from router 1 to router 2, and then from router 2 to router 4, I'm going to have fast Ethernet connection. So what we're going to do here using policy-based routing, uh, we'll say, we'll say here from, uh, you know, from our serial interfaces, you know, say this is a, you know, a 512, uh, K connection and then on this side here this is also uh, 512 K and say here we have you know on a fast Ethernet we, we have you know 100 meg what we're going to do is we're going to be using a uh, RIP version 2 is the routing protocol. So for RIP, you know, we have, you know, uh, two hops. You know, RIP uses hop count as the metric to find the best path through the network. So from router 1 and router 4, you have two hops. You have from router 3, and you have the router 4. Also, you have the same amount of hops from uh, router 1 to router 4 through router 2. Uh, you have two hops there, too. So what we're going to do is we're going to... Uh, tell router 1 uh, we're going to influence the routing based on uh, we're going to use policy based routing uh, based on you know the packet length we're going to send it over the different links so give me one second here I'm going to uh, I'm going to be configuring the routers real fast and bring these up and then I'll uh, then we'll get into some policy based routing okay so what you can see here um, I have uh, router 1, I had, I'm going to create a loop back on router 1 for 172.16.1.0. Uh, that's going to be our source customer network. The destination is going to be on the other side here, which is uh, router 4 uh, is loop back 0 of 172.16.100.0. Um, also, you can see here I have my connections. You know, between router 1 and router 3 in the 13 network 
router 3 to router 4 is in the 34 network, router 2 to router 4 is in the 24 network, and then router 1 and router 2 is in the 12 network. So let's go ahead now, let's get to the command line and do some configuring. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring up router 1. the loop back first IP address uh, 172.16.1.1 give it a slash 24 then we'll go to 010 with the IP address uh, 192.168 uh, let's see serial was to router 3 which is 13.1 255-255-255-252 then interface FA00 I'm going to give that the IP of 192.168.12.1 do a no shut on these interfaces then we'll do uh, router router rip and be running version 2 no auto summary I'm going to be at doing it for network 172.16.1.0 network 192.168.13.0 and also 12.0. Those are all our directly connected interfaces. I'm going to advertise all those in the RIP. So we have a simple RIP configuration here. I guess we need to go back into GNS3. Router 1 will give the dot ones. So that means router 3 here is going to be 2. Router 2 here is going to be 2. And then on the other side here, we'll just make it easy. Router 3 is going to be the 1. Router 2 is going to be the 1. And Router 4 is going to be 2. And Router 4 is also going to be 2 here. Alright, so that should be it. Let's go back here. Let's go into... Uh, router 2 